Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is your boy, the man, NJ to the city. Now, note on some things when it comes to some of these talk entertainments. Sometimes I stutter, sometimes I do not. But definitely, it's nice to be back on this, I guess, and definitely a little bit. And just know that I've already tweeted out before on my um, Twitters of uh, NJ to the city and at the talk entertainment that more talk entertainments will be coming a lot soon. A lot of news to be reported on from earlier months and try to say um, definitely last year and other years before that. Now, I don't know definitely when I'm going to be going actually consistently on the talk entertainment. More often, like probably, like probably every day. But I definitely know that um, nice to be back on now. And um, I already have another video that I recorded, like a whole another like 30, 40 minutes of video that I had to obviously chop up into pieces in order to get on, get it to upload to YouTube correctly. I don't know when I'm going to upload that, but definitely hopefully soon. And um, just know that the new album, Forever Misunderstood, will be coming out um, hopefully this week and whatnot. Because a lot of new music, and I'm just saying I really want to share these stories with y'all because they really, some of these stories really detail, you know, um, and definitely some of the struggles over this past year that I've gone through and even struggles, you know, should I say, you know, and furthermore past, like, you know, two, three years ago and, what, and whatnot. And definitely people who have... Um, should I say their own opinions about my first dating relationship ever? Um, you know, with my uh, girlfriend that I had in junior year, we dated for a month, and I broke up with her, and and, and whatnot, and so forth and so forth. People who have questions about that, that uh, relationship has pretty much been already um, put in the song multiple, multiple times. Like I've already written like pretty much enough songs to make an EP or album out of the entire relationship and or breakup. But and definitely, um, y'all will hear about that. Um, and definitely in songs like um, No Trouble Part 2, I believe, and um, No Sense, and um, um, and the song called All Eyes on Me. Y'all will hear about it in multiple songs throughout the new album and throughout multiple other albums. Now, other songs that I'm going to be producing in due time is called Die For. You could tell me I got that from Drake's number nine off of Views. Kind of did, kind of didn't. But it definitely shows or says that the question is what are you what are you willing to die for? Are you willing to die for your morals, your values, your you know your beliefs, your religion, your faith? What are you willing to die for? And definitely I'm willing to die for a lot more things than people think more people think I would die for. My faith in Christ, because my faith is Jesus Christ salvation, I would die for that. I die for a lot of people who even I don't even know yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna eventually get to know. I die for them. I mean a lot of things I would die for indefinitely. And you're going to hear, hear about that in future songs. I'm a very good artist, lyricist, a profound lyricist. My best band, I'm the best rhymer in the game, definitely. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to meet a lot more artists eventually who are going to somewhat prove me wrong about that. But um, like I'm pretty sure they're, they're going to you know, hit me with a lot more rhymes than I, I could even comprehend. But hey, you know, as long as we can successfully collaborate through all these you know, this music and rhymes and whatever else, you know, let's get it together and whatnot. Um, and definitely, like, Forever Misunderstood um, is definitely entitled as how, again, for a whole year and whatnot. It actually really details really for a lot more than that. People think they really know me and have my true identity figured out, but they don't. They really don't have it figured out. My last two albums was 2016, Perspective of 904, and um, the March Madness album. The March Madness album was supposed to, become, was supposed to come in late uh, March. But it ended up coming sometime in April, indefinitely. And the March Madness album, actually, yeah, I just said that, right? The March Madness album was supposed to come in late um, March, but it came out in uh, April. Because actually, this spring break, this past spring break of this year, 2016, I pretty much spent most of my spring break recording that album and whatnot. I think it was last spring break or the spring break before that, I really didn't get to record much because I was sick that spring break. And that was, actually, it was it was last spring break that 2015 Perspectives from 904 should have been the one that was recorded throughout my entire spring break last year, but I was sick for most of it with a fever and, and whatnot, or just with a heck or whatever you want to call it. But definitely this new album, which I try to say, uh, yeah, um, the March Madness album in 2016, Perspectives from 904, the way I look at it is that, um, like I say, those albums detail the stories which they told. Some of my some of my um, flows still didn't match up with some of the beats that I chose, but I, but you know, I thought that you know, hey, it was good enough still to, to put it out there and let y'all review it. The March Madness album still has more views, way more views than what um, 2016 Perspectives from the 904 has, and I really 
can't figure out whether it's because of the title of it or because legitimately people thought I spit more fire bars in the March Madness album than I did in 2016 Perspectives from the 904. Um, when it comes to the 2016 Perspectives from the 904, you got to realize that album, for me personally, the second half of that album was mostly a love and relationships album. Like, literally, the second half of that album was supposed to be a love and relationships album. I was supposed to put it into love and relationships too. But I decided, hey, I've been releasing 12 songs. I've, well, I, the last time I released, well, the March Madness album already turned into a 12 song album anyway. So I'm like, hey, why not release two 12 song albums like that, you know? Right there, you know, to finally make my return, my, my 2016, you know, comeback release return. Now, I'm going to take a picture of um, the archives, which is um, the archives are pretty much a ton of tablets that have a lot of raps in them. I'm going to take a picture of that and post it on my uh, Instagram of NJ to the City, number two. And, um, and I'm going to, like, say, you know, I'm, and I'm going to take a picture of that to symbolize the fact being I have a lot of material to get out, people. A lot, a lot, a lot of material. And what that means is I don't know how many years I'm going to be in this game, but definitely by God's grace, I should be in the game for a long, long, long time. I have a lot of material to keep on releasing, keep on feeding the public masses. And some of these messages, some of some of these um songs speak sorry, speak the same messages, just you know, in different in different wording. Some of them speak the same messages in the same wording, but still offer a lot more content when it comes to um should I say still the new ways of telling it and whatnot. I mean in multiple ways I believe I'm bound to be a legend. In multiple ways I feel like I'm bound to be a, a legend because of the fact being my rhyme and lyricism, I don't hear anybody anybody rhyme like I rhyme. I mean, I've studied some mainstream artists, and again, hats off to Drake. He's been breaking records. He's breaking his own records. He's breaking records. He's just doing everything. He's doing his job. He's literally proven that, yo, in the mainstream, I run this. And I mean, salute to Drake. Salute to him. I mean, you know, I mean, what else can you say? It's like saying any other main. It's like saying any other underground person, or like myself, or any other mainstream person that says, you know. That says like I run the mainstream. Yeah, sure you do. You it like it's like especially if you don't especially if I don't have a song on the radio or no one else has a song on the radio, you know, anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world, you know, and it or or it doesn't show that we're breaking any records. It shows that you know where you it's like saying you want to be at those heights, but you're just not at those heights yet. But you're already saying you are because that's where you're aiming at, or you or you just want to be arrogant with it, you know. I'm just saying. With lyricism, no matter what anyone tells me, I know I run the lyricism game. I know I run it. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot more challengers against that throughout the upcoming uh, months and years. I'm going to have a lot of people challenging me saying, yeah, you don't run lyricism. I run it. Be like, okay, let's test it then. Because a lot of these theories, and definitely let's go and test them to see whether I'm right or you're right. And if you're right, I'll try my best to give you the props that you deserve. And hopefully we can still collaborate, you know, musically and, you know, Make a, make a better tomorrow with it, you know? And uh, I'm just saying, the Forever Misunderstood album, ladies and gentlemen, it really does detail a struggle. Or, you know, a lot of my albums really much detail struggles, but definitely the last two or three or four are ones you could actually, you know, when it comes to lyricism, well, not really lyricism, but when it comes to beat-wise, you could actually understand. And even when it comes to flow-wise, you could actually understand. But the Forever Misunderstood definitely details the fact being that and definitely a lot of people think they know my personality, they know my attitude, they, my attitude and everything else about me. A lot of people do not know my attitude, my personality. They don't know anything about me. But they think they do, and they judge terribly off of the same negative opinions all the time. The biggest point is that, um, the biggest point is, like I say, I definitely within the Forever Misunderstood album, I go I go ahead and I address some of the rumors, like for example, like Drake did in Views, and like a lot of other people do in their albums. They address some of the you know hype rumors, and they you know and they um to dis distinguish fact from fiction, you know. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do throughout the entire throughout the Forever Misunderstood album, and then throughout the rest of my career, because definitely I'm just saying a lot of people think they have me figured out, and they don't have me figured out at all. At least when at least, at least if your opinion of me is negative, you definitely don't have me figured out. You know, if your opinion is mixed with some positive, with negatives, I mean, a lot of things people think about me, I can definitely go ahead and be like, yeah, you was right on this one, but this other fact, or this other opinion you was wrong on. Let me explain it to you. The biggest point is, um, as of my coming of age, one of my biggest things to kind of do for myself 
let my music speak for itself, let my actions and my words speak for themselves. You know, I don't like not living up to the personal hype that I build myself up to. I really don't because it makes me look like I was just all talk, even though I know that I have skill and talent when it comes to certain things and whatnot. So I'm not fully happy about not living up to a lot of the hype that over four years, or well, mainly three thus far, I've built up for myself. And I'm not really happy for the happy I haven't lived up to that hype, but hey, and definitely like I say, you know, every day is a new opportunity to start a new chapter for yourself on this on you know on this subject or that subject. And every day is a new opportunity to keep on trying to reach those goals and prove yourself right. And that definitely for me, I just can't believe how many people I have who doubt me. I can't believe that I can't believe I have this many people who doubt me with school, who doubt me with music, doubt me with and some of the people who doubt me with music haven't heard a single NJ to the City song. Or they haven't studied the lyrics behind the NJ to the City music. I'm like, you're telling me I can't rap. Have you read my lyrics? Have you really seen me spit some bars? Have you seen me see me I mean, have you heard me flow at all with this verse or that verse? Have you I mean how much of my music have you studied? A lot of these people haven't studied anything. And just to the city music should be going on for years. So, pretty much, people who think I can't rap, you're going to hear me rap a lot. You don't have to tune into it. But just know that with you not tuning into it, it's definitely going to say something about you and whatnot. Especially the lyricism, people. The lyricism is stone cold. Literally. If I have to post, again, I've already posted some, some lyrics on my Instagram. If I have to post more of pretty much every single song that I write, I'll eventually do that. And I'll show y'all how I know I'm one of the coldest lyricists in the game. I may not be on the top of the mainstream like Drake is, but I know I'm one of the coldest lyricists in the game. One of the coldest. And I'm going to say, hopefully more talk on entertainment coming soon, addressing actual you know, mainstream news other than just my you know, rap career, surely my music career, even though I'm a rapper though. Rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, actor, analyst, a lot of the things. I have a lot of passions, and I have a lot of um, skills and talents, no matter what anyone tells me. People, one of the biggest things you got to realize to do is to rise above hate and just keep on doing what you got first, no one believe in, and, you know, that will get you to the next level. And keep on, just keep on that grind, just keep, keep on grinding for it, you know, and, you know, and pretty God to show you those steps to achieve it. Because a lot of people, some people just don't want to see you succeed. Some people just do not want to see you succeed. Some, and some of the people who you will, I, I hate to say this, some of the people you rely on for support, don't be surprised they don't give it to you. Don't be surprised so some of the same people who you rely on for support and encouragement don't give it to you. Sometimes it's because they don't want you to succeed, and sometimes it's just because they're on different levels than you when it comes to, you know, the understanding of, you know, where you, you could get with your craft, you know. And definitely that's just that, you know. For example, uh, multiple other songs, like, for example, um, let me go and look on my notes on my iPhone 6, that is. For example, a song title that I have, some of the song titles that I've created are um, Above the Hate. And um, that means, again, it has to do with rising above the hate and realizing that, you know, uh, like I say, again, some of this stuff, I mean, look, a lot of people are going to doubt you. And it's a shame that they doubt you. And a lot of people are going to hate you. And whatnot, but again, every every day is that is another opportunity to realize what are you doing wrong with your life and what are you doing wrong with this, this situation and try to fix it. One of the biggest things you can't really focus on all the hate. You have to try to your best to focus on all the positives. And even with that hate, you have to try to turn that. You have to try to flip. Uh, sorry, flip it like a reciprocal. And that's and that's one of a title of one of my new songs. Flip it like a reciprocal. Actually, the title of it is called Reciprocal. Flip it like a reciprocal. You flip that hate like a reciprocal. You flip that doubt like a reciprocal. That means is you turn that pot that that what they're using for their negatives to bring you down or whatever else, you turn it into a positive and you use it for your strength and your fuel and your food to keep on trying to strive to either prove them wrong, prove yourself right, or just trailblaze in whatever you believe that you can trailblaze in. Another one of my song titles is called Above the Law. People think that I've that I think that I'm people think that I've told myself. That reason why I can, the reason why I can have the outgoing spirit that I have is because I think I'm, a, I think I'm, a, sorry, I think because I'm above the law, which is not correct at all. I'm not above any laws, really. I'm not above any laws, but I'm definitely I'm not going to discount the fact that if you have the money, sorry, the money. I don't know if I said that correct the first time. I'm not going to discount that if you have the money. You're definitely, 
I mean, you're still not really a bo. 